The Puerto Rican crested toad is a very distinctive frog with its upturned snout and well-developed cranial crests. Found in the Guanaca National Forest on the leeward side of Puerto Rico, this toad spends most of its life below ground in a maze of limestone cavities. Puerto Rican crested toads venture out only after significant rain events to feed on insects and find mates. Zoos across the country keep captive colonies of these toads in case of environmental disasters that may wipe out the population and to reintroduce captive bred animals to suitable habitats. Toads are raised in 10-gallon tanks with a piece of cork bark, a 30-watt spotlight, and a small pool created by tilting the tanks slightly. Once a year, the adult toads were cycled for reproduction. They were cooled to the mid-60s for a few weeks, and then as they were gradually warmed up, the humidity was raised in the tanks. Toads were introduced into breeding enclosures that consisted of several 20-gallon tanks plumbed into a filtration system. After injecting both females and males with a luteinizing and release hormone, the toads were introduced while playing their calls continuously. Although this species is listed as threatened by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, this classification appears to be an artifact of the frog's natural history. Since these toads were rarely encountered during surveys, biologists thought that the populations were in peril. In recent years, hurricanes that have dumped several inches of rain have revealed large populations of toads in suitable habitats. The basics of population dynamics suggest that these toads are at their carrying capacity due to their biotic potential and the environmental resistance specifically spatial restrictions. Although the necessity of the conservation program may be debatable, there is still much to be gained by keeping this species in zoos and aquariums. Most significantly is the educational value of exhibiting a unique amphibian species that brings attention to the current amphibian crisis.